Assalamualaikum viewers, how are you? Hope you will be fine. Welcome to the channel Literature Outstanding, Be Positive, Be Hopeful in Your Lives. In Telltale tell Time, today I'm going to share a very beautiful story from English literature and the name of this story is The Rhyme of Ancient Mariner by T.S. Coleridge. Basically, it's the longest poem and it was published in Lyrical Ballad. This is the story of a sailor who shares with us the experiences of his sea voyage and of what sin he committed during that voyage and how he learns the most important lesson of his life to love life in totality. Coleridge has divided this poem into seven parts. That's why I will also upload seven videos, one video for each part and I will compile all the videos in a playlist so you can go and watch the videos in a sequence. So stay tuned and let's start the video. But before that, those who are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, literature outstanding and don't forget to hit the bell icon for future videos. So let's start the summary, review and story of the rhyme of Adrian Mariner part one. The main characters in this part one are wedding guest, mariner and albatross. Mariner is basically a sailor and when the poem begins we see that a sailor is sitting outside of a wedding venue. The mariner introduced by Coleridge in this poem is an old man with glittering eyes and white beard. The mariner seemed a strange and mysterious type of character. As I told you, it's a wedding venue, so many guests are coming to attend the wedding. The feast was also ready and we see that three guests entered to attend that wedding. But that mariner or sailor did a strange thing. Sailor held the hand of one of the wedding guests and stopped him for narrating his story of sea voyage and started his story instantly. Once upon a time, there was a ship. The wedding guest was not at all interested in the story of Mariner. He tried to free his hand from the hand of Mariner and also told him that he's very close relative to the bridegroom and he has come here to attend the party or wedding or not to listen the story of the Mariner. After listening this, now Mariner left the hand of the wedding guest. But now wedding guest felt that he couldn't move from his place. It seemed that maybe the mariner has casted some sort of spell with his glittering eyes on the wedding guest so he couldn't move from his place and he had no other option except to listen the story of that mariner. As a reader, we feel a conflict in the mind of wedding guest. On one side, he wanted to go inside and wanted to attend that wedding but on other hand, he couldn't move and he had no other option except to listen the story of Mariner. The Mariner once again started his story that once upon a time there was a ship that started its journey in very fortunate manner with 200 crew members. Weather was good, day was sunny, everyone was happy and cheerful that they have started their journey in very good manner. The ship was progressing further and further day by day, but then the weather changed mighty storm took over the ship that mighty storm changed the direction of the ship and drove it towards southern pole the storm was so powerful that it stopped all the mass of the ship and now the ship was tossing in that storm the front part of the ship was bent forward finally the ship stopped towards south direction the place where this ship stopped that place was full of mist and clouds there was no an intense cold there were big icebergs. These icebergs were looking like big emeralds because of reflection of light. Overall, we can say that there were no traces of life and that area was lifeless. No one can imagine that even a single living being can survive here. Nine days and nine nights passed like that and here appeared an important character of the story, Albatross, the bird, an Oceanian bird that mostly found in the Pacific and Southern Oceans. Mariner and all other passengers were very happy after watching a living being in that lifeless area. That bird started to hover over their ship. Passengers offered the food to the bird and the bird also accepted that food. When that bird appeared, a favorable wind started to blow and the ship was moving once again. Everyone considered Albatross the symbol of hope and good luck. Albatross started to live with passengers in the ship. It sits on the mast and ropes of the ship, it played with the crew members. Both Albatross and passengers were spending a good time. 
At this point, the wedding guest felt that the facial expression of Mariner started to change. He was very upset. It seemed that as if he is beaten or tortured by some devil. So he asked the reason to Mariner why you are so sad and the Mariner answered, I shoot the albatross with my crossbow. The Mariner confessed that without any reason, just in a playful manner, he killed that innocent bird. And when he killed that innocent bird, once again the wind was stopped. And finally their ship was stuck in that area. And here the part one of The Rhyme of Ancient Mariner by T.S. Coleridge comes to an end. The story is still continued very soon. I will upload the Urdu dubbing of this video as well as the part two of this poem. So stay tuned at the end I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this effort please like video or also share it to your friends and family and, and don't forget to subscribe the channel literature outstanding also hit the bell icon for future videos.